Oh, look, my third eye is glowing. I can see the reflection in my photo booth thing. <laughs> hey, uh, I started a video yesterday, and Mia called. Uh, she's my oldest daughter. She's in uh, Malaysia. Had her purse, stolen passports, all sorts of exciting stuff. But um, very maturely got a, another passport, and uh, things are working out. So she's fine. Thank you for asking. Uh, I was talking about my last class in... Connecticut, Massachusetts, I guess we were, and a man in the class, Bob Lash, you can, there's a link on one of my videos uh, to Bob singing his song, uh, one of his time-honored songs for me at any rate, uh, called This Is My Life, I Want a New Leading Man, I Want a New Director. Uh, Bob was in the interview process, we interview everybody in my classes, and he, uh, we were talking about his music and how, how different a person he is when he talks about his music. And he can be kind of grumpy and a little cynical about life. I mean, he lives and works uh, in the uh, evil empire's headquarters, not, not directly in the White House, but uh, in the Washington, D.C. area. But when he talks about music, Bob becomes a different man. So we talk about the music because anything else is a little less than uh, invigorating, let's say that. And I said, you know, Bob, you need this. is the We're in the 2011. We're... Um, uh, supposed to be uh, the end of the world's coming soon, so you need to get your stuff out on the social medium stuff. And Bob was saying, you know, that even though he was good with audio video stuff, that it was quite a different story to upload stuff to the internet, and that he was savvy in certain areas, and he had all of his excuses in place, as did his wife. They were both uh, berating me that it wasn't that easy. And uh, again, who inspired me was a man named Mark Dodds, who I watched sit down by a tree. He's a client of mine in uh, Seattle, sit down by a tree and. Uh, run his video camera and somehow uploaded it to YouTube and somebody showed me how to do it last summer. So I'm trying to tell Bob that it's not that difficult and uh, we're arguing as we do sometimes in my class. Uh, when one of my participants, Tamara, uh, said, wait a minute, I have an iPhone and I'll bet you I can upload this to the internet in before the class is done. And Bob was my last interview, so we were closing down in a, a class. Uh, Bob said, well, I feel like singing. And so he got out a guitar, there were many there, we were at a Montessori school in Massachusetts, he got out a guitar, started singing the song that I love, which I kind of, you know, uh, have always enjoyed when he sang it, uh, sang it, and uh, we uploaded it last week, and we kind of altered Bob's reality. And I hope Bob's going to look at this, because I've had people from England, I don't know who else has seen that video, but uh, if you have any connections, you know, Bob loves music. Bob is probably the ultimate protest singer. He's you know, it's time for the protesters to come out. They're out, they're occupying Wall Street. I told him to go down to D.C. and just entertain the group, take his guitar down there and sing for them and stuff and make them feel a little bit better. Uh, according, to, according to timelines, we're right on schedule to uh, cause enough pressure for things to change. Thanks. Have a fun day. www.mic peak performance. If you want to see what I do, come out and do a class. If you know several other people, you can get me to come and see you. I'm fairly easy that way. Bye.